Today we have with us uh, Aditya Vikram. Aditya Vikram is a 2015-2019 uh, B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering from Sri Mata Vaishno Devi University. He hails from Jharkhand and uh, he was having a CGPA of 7.14. And then he went on to prepare for so many examinations, including uh, the engineering services. But he could not get through. That is what he has told me. And uh, I really like the approach of him. Then for around three months, he prepared for uh, the CAD examination. And he's put score, I guess, for 99.24 percentile, which is an amazing percentile. And then he uh, joined IIM Amritsar for the PGP course. <clears throat> So Aditya, thank you very much for accepting my invitation and coming over for the meet today. Mm, and thank the you. first question, which I thought was a very good thing, that uh, you prepared for engineering services and uh, then you could not hear and this is something which you have very honestly mentioned. So first of all, I want to tell you, we can keep the interview in Hindi as well as English uh, or mix, as it will go. Do you think that ki your preparation for say the engineering examinations huh, helped you also prepare for the CAT examination? Sir, actually uh, when I was preparing for engineering services exam, so mm -hmm. the syllabus was completely different and mm -hmm. it had technical questions and uh, you need you need to have a lot of in a uh, lot of in-depth uh, knowledge of what mechanical engineering is and mm -hmm. stuff. But as far as CAT exam is concerned, it is an aptitude exam. So if mm. you have a good aptitude, you can mm. clear in a month also. So it okay. depends. So preparation for engineering services exam taught me one thing that you have to be patient. Wow. So it's not <laughs> That's really a very good lesson to learn because uh, one patience is not in our And the other thing is that if you don't understand the plan A crack, then the plan B is going to be. So that is yes, very sir. important. Because and with that, there is no more. 1,000,000 children give the mechanical exam in engineering services. Now, there are 40 seats in the seats. So, it's a three-tier exam. Hai, so, you need to have a plan B. Because hmm. you can't keep wasting your uh, years. Because people don't uh, add their time cost. People think that, okay, this is a form, so we fill it and then we'll prepare and then we'll get through. But hmm. time cost is very important. Hai. In, in our 20s, time is the most important thing that one should uh, factor when mm -hmm. preparing for anything. So mm -hmm. I decided to move on because you know I can't keep wasting my years and years uh, after every attempt. So you cleared your uh, B.Tech in 2019 and yes, uh, then you were in Delhi for around a year or so, right? Yes, sir. And the COVID hit and then you have to leave. Before COVID hit. And uh, when you cleared this uh, CAT examination, Sir, in uh, CAT exam, I cleared was in November 2021. So, Achha, 2021 wala examination to India tha, and then you cleared and then you joined IIM uh, Amritsar this year, right? Yes. Sir. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, tell us more about the IIM Amritsar uh, because there are two courses as you were telling me that one is the flagship course that is the PGP and the other one is PhD. So tell us more about this. It's a PhD course is uh, quite new here. Uh, mm -hmm. PGP course is eight year old course. Actually, I am Amritsar is also not very old. It, uh, it mm -hmm. started in 2000. Set up in 2015. Yeah, yes, mm -hmm. sir. Third generation I am. Mm -hmm. So PGP course is uh, I am currently in the eighth batch, and okay. PhD course is the second course, uh, second batch of PhD students that we are mm -hmm. having. Mm -hmm. So PhD students I uh, are generally uh, having a five year course, I guess, mm -hmm. and. One year they will get trained at IM Bangalore. So okay. Is a, uh, I mean that has there has been a MOU with IM Bangalore and IM mm -hmm. That way they are trained. Okay. But unke unke structure mein, studies ke structure mein, or tum log ke studies ke structure mein kya difference? Because so, yours is a two years course and there yes. is a five year course. So one year to a Bangalore ja rahe hai. Chalo maan liya. Baki cheeze kya karte hai? One semester. One chhe chhe mahine ke liye aayega. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Sir, major difference is that we are having general MBA, we study subjects of finance, marketing, mm -hmm. operations, everything, even HR. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. they already decide what, uh, in which domain they are going to major in, like marketing mm -hmm. or finance or something. So, mm -hmm. first year of their PhD, they also study all those subjects that we are studying. Just mm -hmm. to have general knowledge, general uh, 
you know knowledge about what mba subjects are all about but mm-hmm. then second year or second year onwards they study what they are going to major in like marketing mm-hmm. or whatever ंग we can choose uh, electives of every subjects for example i can choose electives of finance also marketing also one or two of operations also so mm-hmm. our degree will not be it it will not be written that uh, we have done uh, P, uh, pgp course or mba in finance it will just written just be written okay, mba okay 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 but then some people will say that okay i have a mba in finance or i have a, a mba in uh, say uh, hr or uh, marketing तो ये जो लोग जो लोग ये बोलते हैं कि हमारे पास एम की डिग्री है फाइनेंस है ना तो हाउ इज इट डिफरेंट फ्रॉम योर्स सर एक्चुअली इन आवर कॉलेज ऑल्सो देर इज एम बी एच आर कोर्स डिफरेंट फ्रॉम वाट आई एम इन आई एम इन जनरल एम बी ए कोर्स देर इज अ स्पेशलाइज एम बी एच आर कोर्स सो देर दो स्टूडेंट्स विल से आई हैव एम बी एन एच आर बट इन आवर केस इट इज ओनली आई एम बी ए डिग्री एंड सेकेंड थिंग दो स्टूडेंट्स हु से दैट इवन आफ्टर हैविंग अ जनरल एम बी ए If they say that they are helping, they are having a MBA in finance, so they are basically trying to uh, give a message to the prospective recruiters that okay, I have a, a knowledge in finance, so you may uh, look for me if you are having a vacancy in okay. finance. Okay, that okay. way. Okay, so that way. In many colleges also have specialized finance degree. For example, I am Koi Code, so I am Koi Code is having a, fin- a, a specialized finance course. Mm-hmm. That way also it is different. But Achha, in general, MBA so- it is. जनरल ओके 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 ये फंडा है क्योंकि मुझे नहीं पता था ना तो इसलिए मैंने सोचा कि पूछ लेता हूँ अच्छा okay acha to ye that, that is the difference now that yes. it has changed now now you can get an mba degree from ims as well yes. okay to ye to ho gaya ab mujhe jo hai aur important question jo ki bachcho ke liye hota hai uh, how come you can crack say cat and that too with 99.24 percentile in less than 3 months preparation where people are preparing for 3 years and they are not reaching the 99 percent Sir, actually, what is the secret, man? Yeah, I I want the secret. <laughs> I want your juniors to crack this examination as well with a good uh, say percentile and tell us the secret. Sir, actually, uh, it is it is not something which is can be cracked in three months without having prior background. So I would like to say uh, I would like to tell my what uh, what led me crack this exam. So first of all. I was an avid reader so I used to read articles everywhere I mean mm-hmm. I used to read articles about politics finance and those stuff so you know there is a section in cat that is VARC verbal ability and reading comprehension mm-hmm. so if you are a good reader even mm-hmm. without any practice you can get good marks so I had a background in that I just needed some practice which I did in those 3 months So it's not that you have no background and nothing, and you can crack it in three months. I won't mislead people. So I mm-hmm. used to read, not specifically for CAT, but I had reading habit, good reading mm-hmm. habit. So that helped me. And I think being an engineer, it helps in cons. So mm-hmm. uh, mathematical ability, definitely. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So that also I was good at. So even before starting the preparation, uh, specifically for CAT, I gave a mock test. before mm-hmm. starting my preparation and i scored very good marks in a quant section so mm-hmm. i won't say that in 3 months you can crack the exam without having a background, a background. so that would be misleading if i say that so i was mm-hmm. good at it i just needed some practice which i did in those 3 months okay 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 and how about logical logical abilities and yes, stuff sir, logical like sir, uh, logical reasoning is something which takes time uh, i mean the muscles of your brain with respect to logical reasoning takes time to build so you know you can practice but uh, the results won't be 
there in a few weeks or a month it will take time mm-hmm. at two three months of regular practice because suppose there are four sets in the uh, uh, dilr section of cat and mm-hmm. at the start you are able to solve only one set but from one to two it will take much time much, i mean it will take at least one month or two months of regular practice it won't mm-hmm. happen that you are suddenly going from one set to four set in a cat exam because mm-hmm. you know, people are, some people are very intelligent they can do it but for normal students or even for student like me it is not that easy i mean mm-hmm. you will it will take practice so i also had habit of you know uh, the most important thing which helped me was that i was not preparing for cat but i was actually preparing for cat <laughs> mm-hmm. so ye 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 kaise hua this is something which i will like to know ha ah. एक्चुअली मतलब ये जो चीजें मैं बता रहा हूँ ये मैं करता था बट नॉट फॉर कैट तो जैसे मैं टाइम जैसे टाइम पास हो रहा है तो कभी सोडो को सॉल्व कर लिया कभी पजल्स को सॉल्व कर लिया मेरे पास एक बुक थी पजल्स की तो आई यूज टू सॉल्व दैट सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स माई रीडिंग हैबिट मी बींग एन इंजीनियर एंड गुड एट मैथमेटिक्स एंड ऑल्सो मी सॉल्विंग दोज पजल्स तो ऑल दीज थिंग्स हेल्प मी वेन आई स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग सो आई हैड ए बैकग्राउंड आई इट वॉज नॉट दैट आई वॉज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रैच तो काफी नॉलेज था यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच एंड देन गेट 99 इन अ फ्यू मंथ्स दैट इज नॉट वर्थ व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ बीइंग इन एसएम वीडियो बिकॉज़ जिस तरह मुझे पता है एसएम वीडियो ना आपको बहुत टाइम देता है प्रिपेयर करने के लिए अगर आप कुछ भी प्रिपेयर करना चाहते हैं सो व्हाट आर द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ बीइंग इन एसएम वीडियो एंड इफ यू वांट टू प्रिपेयर फॉर से सपोज कैट एंड दैट टू फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच तो कब से स्टार्ट करना चाहिए बच्चों सर कैट के लिए सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है कि ना आपका पीक उस टाइम पे आना चाहिए सब एग्जाम के आसपास हो अगर आप ना बहुत जल्दी स्टार्ट कर देंगे तो आपका जल्दी पीक कर जाएंगे देन यू विल नॉट योर परफॉर्मेंस वुड नॉट बी ऑप्टिमल तो आई वुड सजेस्ट स्टार्टिंग इन अराउंड वन इफ यू आर वेरी वीक तो वन ईयर का पहले एंड इफ यू आर देन वन ईयर इज सफिशियंट नॉट मोर देन वन ईयर आई वुड सजेस्ट बिकॉज कैट मोर देन वन ईयर इन एनी ऑफ दीज द थिंग इज दैट कैट इज नॉट अ सिलेबस बेस्ड एग्जाम so you mm-hmm. prepare this syllabus and you will get through like in mm-hmm. uh, cat or engineering services they have fixed defined syllabus so mm-hmm. cat uh, cat conduct karne karane wali authorities jaise i am jo bhi i am karate they mm-hmm. don't give any syllabus mm-hmm. so it is based on the history of examination and the number of questions or type of questions that have been asked so different coaching institutes come up with a uh, prospective syllabus that eat this may come that may come but no mm-hmm. defined syllabus but mm-hmm. for you if you take syllabus of gate they completely define each and every topic and sub topics also so mm-hmm. nothing would come uh, i mean nothing would come out of that syllabus mm-hmm. that is not a syllabus based exam it is basically an aptitude exam so if you study too much that would also hamper your chances so optimization is the key and that is something mm-hmm. which is important and relevant with respect to mba also here also we get n number of things so we have to prioritize what we have to do based on our abilities and our interests that is also the case with uh, mba or cat preparation mm-hmm. you have to know what you are weak in so mm-hmm. i would suggest starting with a mock test right from when you are going to start give a mock test before starting preparation so mm-hmm. you will get to know where you stand before you start that mm-hmm. is very important after that you can see what uh, what lies ahead i mean suppose you are weak in vr so you need Uh, reading you need to read more mm-hmm. reading is something which is very underrated i mean in- engineers don't read much that is mm. <laughs> <and> I, <laughs> that is a trend i have been seeing and also from the experience of my friends so mm. they don't read much so they are generally weak in vrc i mean reading comprehension section but they are very good at quant so what kind of reading uh, should uh, students pick up like uh, whether they should be newspapers or whether they should be say uh, novels or whether they should be philosophical texts or whether they should be fictions what kind of things people should start so if someone or is reading. not uh, good at reading and is trying to start then he should start with something he which he likes which he mm. i mean he gets interested in he it can be a novel anything because if he suddenly start with an aeon essay then he won't get interested mm. <laughs> obviously mm. so he should start with a novel or something but uh, after that should, suddenly uh, i mean he should after some time shift to articles of newspapers and other things start with uh, simple newspaper like times of india and others i should not directly shift to the business, i mean business times and other business standard mm-hmm. newspaper or business articles because he 
एट द स्टार्ट इफ यू आर नॉट फॉर एग्जाम्पल विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू बिजनेस आर्टिकल्स यू नीड टू हैव गुड नॉलेज ऑफ फाइनेंस अदरवाइज यू वॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड तो सिंपल आर्टिकल्स विच आर रिटर्न इन टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया टाइप न्यूज पेपर्स दे आर गुड टू स्टार्ट स्टार्ट आफ्टर यू आर आफ्टर यू आर आई मीन आफ्टर यू स्टार्ट विथ अ नॉवेल एंड आफ्टर दैट इफ यू आर इफ यू हैव बीन फेमिलाइज विद दिस दिस टाइप ऑफ रीडिंग you may shift to aonis but i i myself never read those aonis i read for a week and then i started getting disinterested and i left <laughs> so i used to re- uh, read only articles and i used to read not uh, because of uh, i not because i was preparing for cat because you know if you are cons- constantly thinking of that i am reading this because of because i am preparing for cat and this will give me some learning you won't uh, read fruitful i mean your reading won't be fruitful just read for the sake of reading read for mm-hmm. the sake of getting knowledge or getting mm-hmm. interested in what the topic is saying that would be a much uh, much better learning than reading for the purpose of cat because if you are reading for the purpose of cat then there is a thing called words per minute that will tickle into your mind and you will mm-hmm. think that am i <laughs> slow <laughs> am i reading too slow so you need not think <clears throat> about all those just read Hmm. that was something which i did no that's really amazing acha tell me more about this that once people have clear their cat examinations and all you hmm. know uske baad usko convert karna like going to the interview and convert it to um, an i am for that theek hai how difficult it is and what is the way out so the actually uh, cat exam is, uh, the weightage of cat exam is not much so mm-hmm. in most of the iams it is not more than 40% most of the okay. iams mm-hmm. and in many iams uh, for example i am indore it gives mm-hmm. 74% weightage to 10th and 12th so the ship okay. has already sailed in that case and you can't oh, do much okay. uh-huh. but but once shot listed if you got a shot list for interview round then you need to do certain stuff which might help you for example uh, if you in my case i was having gap of Two three years, so mm-hmm. I had an option that I would lie and say that, okay, I was doing. I mean, get a, uh, I mean, get some certificates and say that I was doing this. But you know, they are uh, experienced interviewers and they will catch you within a minute. And once you are caught lying, <laughs> your interview is over, no matter how good a candidate you are. <laughs> so I would suggest to be uh-huh. honest because you know. it's not that uh, everyone that is coming for the interviews is perfect so mm-hmm. being honest is the most important thing because if you are not being honest half of your mind would be uh, trying to save yourself from being caught aapka aadha dimag wahi pe laga rahe kahin main pakda na jao so you won't be focused on interviews your focus would be derailed second thing is the preparation i mean homework plus humility these two points are the most important do your homework and be humble hmm. so homework as in ki sabse important question is they start with tell me about yourself so hmm. in this question you have the option to drive the interview where you want to take it hmm. for example uh, i was very good at geopolitics of jammu and kashmir hmm. so i used to put jammu and kashmir in uh, uh, i won't say that i prep, i did btech in mechanical engineering from sm video I was doing fascist on I did B Tech in Mechanical Engineering from SM Video located in Katra, Jammu and Kashmir. So hmm. no, I knew that they would ask questions. They would ask two questions. Number one, how could you go from Branchi to Jammu and Kashmir hmm. for studying? What led you to do this? So I would explain that how I got. I mean, there is a counseling around and all. That would consume a minute. And if I am convinced that I have answered it correctly, that also. adds a value to my point because i have prepared for this and i'm confidently answering this that ad mm. second thing they would ask about uh, the environment and another thing and geopolitics of jammu and kashmir which i am well versed so yeah. these two questions in most of the interviews i guess that they would ask and they ask mm. this thing second i used to write on quora where my answers have generated more than i mean 20000 views per answer so i have a good habit of writing so mm. when i uh to used to tell them that i did this so they used to ask what you write and which all topics do you write if i say that i write about geopolitics they would ask question on geopolitics and other things so in most of the cases i drive the interview i drove the mm-hmm. interview where i wanted to take it mm-hmm. so 
you have the option in uh, tell me about yourself second they would ask why are you doing mba i mean why are you uh, have you applied planning to MBA? join mba program hmm. why mba this is the hmm. most important question and this is i would say make or break question because they feel that if a student is not clear with why he is intending to do hmm. an mba then he won't do justice with the course so hmm. this question must be prepared thoroughly and uh, if possible i mean you should check with someone uh, with a person who is well versed with maybe a coaching institute or something so who can check your answer who can I mean, verify if you are getting everything correctly or not mm-hmm. so this should your thought process should be clear i mean <clears throat> you should not say that i am doing mba for a good salary i mean everyone mm, obviously okay. does mba that is something which salary, is but, always there at the back of the mind but you cannot say but it. you should not it's, say this you should not say i i am also doing mba for a good salary but That is everybody the, does everybody yeah. pursues education more or less 99% of the people who are pursuing education higher education is precisely to get a good job and yes. there is nothing wrong about it yes well, nothing wrong but, nothing wrong. but, but you then you have cannot a different say certain things yes. obvious 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 that i understand okay how about the gd gd mein kya kya hota hai this year because of covid gd did not happen in Achha. in the colleges that i applied for because uh, you know every college has different criteria so online gd is something which i also feel that is not something which students would enjoy and also it is very uh, good to you know judge someone based on online gd so most of the colleges scrap gd this year acha i achha, don't achha. have any idea okay okay now tell me the last part of the because we are now entering the last part of the interview so thoda sa uh, how different is Uh, say i am amritsar from smv du what are the good things about i am uh, amritsar the the competitive environment i mean is very competitive here right from when we entered uh, it was uh, i mean we were bombarded with different tasks and other things we were divided in groups there is a call, uh, there is a week called stress week so mm-hmm. you have there are 10 11 clubs committees and everything they uh, give tasks and they divide us in groups and we were uh, given different tasks to and uh, work with work with different people in different groups mm-hmm. so, uh, we were overburdened but that was just to teach us how uh, life in corporate is and mm-hmm. how and manage stress also mm-hmm. after that there is a selection process for committees and clubs because uh, position of responsibility we call here as por is very important because in our college at least cgpa doesn't come doesn't uh, I mean, does it appear in your CV? Mm-hmm. So, uh, even if you are topper here, you, it won't matter because the in- interviewer won't be knowing that. Mm-hmm. So, you are just based on what you are doing apart from your studies also, mm-hmm. like what you are doing in extracurricular activities, what uh, positions of responsibility you are holding. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I am a coordinator of a club which prepares mm-hmm. people for placement. So, okay. these things uh, help you a lot. when okay. it comes to placements and mm-hmm. second thing uh, the environment is very competitive there are case mm-hmm. competitions here there are marks for even class participation so yes obviously it has to be the no. case it has to be the case you so, are not going to be a literary person you have to be an executive so yes, there has to be so yeah. I, i would like to give an example of any course so uh, for example there is a course of say marketing mm-hmm. so the breakdown is 30% mid term 30% end term exam 10% there is a simulation so there is an online simulation we have to act like executive or ceo and decide based on the based on how we feel about decision making then there is a 20% weightage to group project 10% there there is weightage to different short quizzes that happen and 10% weightage to class participation i mean i may be I may have Uh, juggled up because I don't remember exact uh, number. Mm-hmm. No, but problem, no problem. that is the case. I mean, people are very competitive in even in class participation. So uh, teacher ask, teacher give some cases. We have given, we are given cases before the class. So when we read and discuss in class, there also there is competition. Someone is trying to prove his point, and someone else. I mean, you have to you have to make sure that your point is heard in the class. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. बिल्कुल 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 ऐसा ही होना चाहिए ऐसा ही होना चाहिए। 
that is the show that is the thing and uh, that is something which i keep on saying to a lot of people that look the environment in smv du is very protective once you will yes, be sir, outside exactly. you will see <laughs> i was about to see. say that because uh, in smv du uh, i mean there was there was not much competitive environment mm-hmm. so you know when i came here it was kind of shock for me because i was not uh, i mean i was not very new with uh, i mean i was not well versed with this kind of environment mm-hmm. it was a way where a very cozy in smv du with respect mm-hmm. to academics and other things here attendance criteria is also very strict and mm-hmm. you go down 80% your grade is dropped and one grade drop i mean means a lot here means a lot definitely means a lot to hamare hamare ability with respect to attendance you oh, you can't uh, bring a certificate that i was ill and you will get attendance <laughs> 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 you know what i mean <laughs> yeah i understand i understand to ek cheez ki what are the best things which you feel that ki smvd has given it to uh, sir friends i mean uh, mm-hmm. i have got friends for life because here uh, what i felt that we i won't be getting the friends group. you will not get friends which yes sir they are colleagues they are competitors because here someone will come to me if i have good knowledge of something if he has something to gain from me hmm. here relations are mutual if i have something to give or someone has something to get then we will collaborate it's hmm. not like friends jaise friends hota hai ki pata nahi kyu dosti but dosti hai हाँ पता, पता नहीं क्यों दोस्ती है लेकिन दोस्ती है, है। हाँ ये बात बिल्कुल सही बोली यहाँ पे ऐसा नहीं यहाँ पे अगर किसी को डिजाइनिंग आती है तो उन आपस में बनेगा फिर उनकी टीम बन जाएगी बट वो दोस्ती नहीं कह सकते उसके साथ अभी तक तो ऐसा नहीं है तो ये ये चीज तो कॉलेज स्कूल कॉलेज तक ही रहता है आगे नहीं होगा मतलब हो सकता है बट चांसेस कम है मुश्किल है मुश्किल है सेकेंड ऐसे वीडियो जैसा माहौल उतनी शांति यहाँ काफी मतलब it's like very chaos chaotic mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. not the case with sm video kafi shanti thi we had our time so agar kisi ko competitive exams ki taiyari karni hai to sm video se achhi jagah nahi ho sakti nahi ho sakti bilkul nahi ho sakti ha kyunki course bhi utna hectic nahi hai matlab mujhe kabhi kabhi lagta tha ki 9 se 5 classes aaj 6 classes hai but yahan aane ka pata chala ki it's not very hectic that is okay bilkul बिल्कुल बिल्कुल एंड सेकंड थिंग दैट वन थिंग आई वुड लाइक टू सजेस्ट टू जूनियर्स इज तो क्लासेस अटेंड करना चाहिए एटलीस्ट आपकी आदत छूट जाएगी ना तो एक बार आलस घुस जाता शरीर में तो फिर काफी दिक्कत होती बिल्कुल मेहनत करने की आदत चली जाती है तो फिर बहुत दिक्कत होती तो इवन मैन आई वेंट टू डेली फॉर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इंजीनियरिंग सर्विस एग्जाम तो वी यूज टू हैव क्लासेस फ्रॉम सेवन थर्टी टू इवनिंग सेवन थर्टी ट्वेल्व आवर क्लासेस गैप ऑफ वन आवर तो क्लास करने की ज्यादा आदत थी नहीं आ, हमारा काफी शेड्यूल हल्का होता था ऐसे वीडियो वो दिक्कत काफी आई <laughs> मैं कुछ कहना नहीं चाहता बट <laughs> चलो अच्छी बात है कि एटलीस्ट यू हैव लर्न एंड यू हैव आल्सो एक्नोलेज दैट थिंग दैट इट इज इम्पोर्टेंट टू गो टू दी क्लासेस एंड गेट दी हैबिट ऑफ बींग इन टू दी क्लासेस एंड स्टॉफ लाइक so also what if you are if you are in final year or if you, even if you are in second third year hmm. focus on your cgpa don't listen to seniors who say that cgpa matter nahi karta are bhai tu kya baat kar raha hai maine pata hai ye kareeb kareeb nahi hone se bhi panch logon ne interview mein bola hoga and ab jaake thoda bachcho ko samajh mein aa raha hai lekin bacche mante hi nahi unko wo kuch aise हिप हॉप सीनियर्स मिलते हैं ना जो बोलते हैं कि अरे बस कोडिंग सीख ले ये सीख ले वो सीख ले हो जाएगा हमें तो डिग्री भी नहीं चाहिए और बहुत सारे ड्रॉप आउट भी हो जाते हैं एंड गो फॉर अ वेरी गुड जॉब मैं मना नहीं कर लेकिन उनको ये बात समझ में नहीं आ रही है कि अगर तेरे पास डिग्री है तो यू कुड हैव डन इवन बेटर मे बी नॉट एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ दी टाइम बट लेटर ऑन अब क्या होगा कि अभी तो आपको बड़ा सा पैकेज मिल गया आप चले गए कहीं पर कोडिंग कर रहे हो कुछ कर रहे हो बट यू हैव यू आर अ कॉलेज ड्रॉप वेरी फ्यू कॉलेज ड्रॉप आउट विल मेक इट सो बिग ठीक है ना बाकी सबका ऐसा होता है कि स्टैग्नेशन बहुत जल्दी हो जाता है और उसके बाद उनको डिग्री चाहिए होता है थिंग इज दैट एवरीवन टेक्स इंस्पिरेशन फ्रॉम लाइक द लाइक्स ऑफ जकरबर्ग एंड बिल गेट्स हां बिल्कुल 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 दैट दे वर ड्रॉप आउट फ्रॉम हार्वर्ड नहीं डस नॉट मैटर व्हेदर यू आर अ ड्रॉप आउट फ्रॉम हार्वर्ड और डस नॉट मैटर व्हेदर यू आर अ ड्रॉप आउट फ्रॉम एसएमवीडी वो बात नहीं है बट वेरी फ्यू विल मेक जैसे सारे हार्वर्ड के ड्रॉप आउट से जरा पूछ क्या कि क्या कर रहे हैं वो ठीक है तो पता चलेगा ना कि एक या दो ने ही किया है सबने थोड़ी किया है तो दैट इज समथिंग विच हैज टू बी वेरी क्लियर इन दी माइंड लेकिन जितने लोगों के पास डिग्री होती है उसमें से ज्यादातर लोग अच्छा करेंगे 
उसमें से कुछ लोग होंगे जो नहीं कर पाएंगे और जो ड्रॉप आउट होंगे उनमें से कुछ लोग अच्छा करेंगे बाकी लोग नहीं कर पाएंगे ये चीज समझ में आनी चाहिए and with okay. respect to mba sir i mean very important cdp is very important it mm-hmm. i i could have got had i been a uh, 8 pointer or 8.5 pointer i could have got a much better college mm-hmm. much better i am you know higher rank wait 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 thoda sa mai bhi wahi dekh raha tha that 99.24 ke baad to uh, higher wale ims mein kyun nahi gaye so it, it was okay. my basic question but you already answered it before कि एक तो कैट एग्जाम का ऐसी वेटेज बहुत कम है है ना आपका दसवीं बारहवीं ग्रेजुएट डाइवर्सिटी के पॉइंट्स मिलते हैं सो अगर आप इंजीनियर हैं तो यू आर एट अ डिसएडवांटेज सो एकेडमिक डाइवर्सिटी के पॉइंट्स होते हैं तो इस इंजीनियर्स को उसमें जीरो मिलता है बाकी अगर कोई भी और कोर्स किया हो तो उसको दस पॉइंट पाँच पॉइंट ऐसे मिलते हैं दैट इज ऑल्सो एन इम्पोर्टेंट और कोई मैसेज अपने जूनियर्स के लिए कोई इम्पोर्टेंट चीज जो कि तुमने सीखी से इन योर स्ट्रगलिंग पीरियड यस सर आई मीन दूसरे को देख के ड्रॉप ये नहीं करना चाहिए कि सब तैयारी कर रहे हैं तो मैं भी कर लूँगा आई मीन हैव योर प्लान अपने फैमिली अपनी फैमिली कंडीशन अपनी कैपेबिलिटीज एंड अपना जो फ्यूचर प्लान है उसको देखते हुए डिसीजन लेना चाहिए अपने दोस्तों से इंस्पायर होकर नहीं लेना चाहिए क्योंकि सबके अलग अलग सबके अलग अलग स्ट्रगल सबके अलग अलग लाइफ है यू कॉन्ट डिसाइड बेस्ड ऑन वॉट योर फ्रेंड्स आर डूइंग सो जस्ट बिकॉज सबको एक तैयारी करने जा रहे हैं डेली जॉब नहीं ले रहे दैट डजन मीन यू आर ऑल्सो डूइंग द सेम एट द एंड जैसे अब अगर मैं अभी जॉब लेने जाऊँगा बिना एम बी ए के तो एवरी वन आस्क फॉर एक्सपीरियंस नो वन इज विलिंग टू गिव एक्सपीरियंस बट एवरी वन इज डिमांडिंग एक्सपीरियंस सो दैट इज दैट मेक्स इट्स वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट तो अगर आपको जॉब मिल रहा है टेक इट आई मीन एक साल के बाद अगर आपको नहीं मन है तो यू कैन लिव इट बट डोंट रश टू प्रिपेयर फॉर एग्जाम्स If if you you have an option of taking a job, mm-hmm. you... in fact, हम लोग ये चीज बहुत बार बच्चों को बताते भी थे बट राइट नाउ वी आर नॉट होल्डिंग दैट काइंड ऑफ कोर्स मतलब प्रोग्राम जिस बीज उसमें हम बोलते थे कि सपोज आप एक नॉर्मल कन्वेंशनली तरह थोड़ा सोचने की कोशिश करें तो आप बी टेक करने के बाद कम से कम दो साल जॉब करें उसके बाद भले ही आप मास्टर्स के लिए जाना चाहो तो चले जाओ लेकिन पहले दो साल जॉब कर लो क्योंकि आपको मास्टर्स में भी वो हेल्प करें इवन इफ इट इज एम टेक है ना और एम और बाकी सारे कोर्सेज में तो और ज्यादा हेल्प करता है क्योंकि जॉब एक्स एक बहुत ही ज्यादा और पता क्या दिस इज दी फिलोसफी और दी एथिक्स दीज डेज कि वो कह रहे हैं कि अगर सपोज आपकी कोर फील्ड इंजीनियरिंग है तो आप दो साल इंजीनियरिंग को दो कम से कम पांच साल इंजीनियरिंग को दो कम से कम उसके बाद भले ही आप बैंक ज्वाइन कर लेना उसके बाद भले ही आप मार्केट ज्वाइन कर लेना एच ज्वाइन कर लेना वो एक अलग चीज है लेकिन तेरा जो नॉलेज ऑफ uh, क्या बोलते हैं इंजीनियरिंग है वो तो वेस्ट जाएगा अगर तूने दो साल भी नहीं किया एक साल भी नहीं किया है ना रिक्रूटर्स के कॉलेज इस तरह से भी देखते हैं जैसे मेरे एक फ्रेंड से पूछा गया था उसने डायरेक्टली कह दिया था कि ही इज नॉट मोच इंटरेस्टेड इन इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट तो एम इंटरव्यूज में जो प्रोफेसर थे उन्होंने पूछा कि इन क्या गारंटी की कल तुम्हें एम सब्जेक्ट की पसंद नहीं आया बिल्कुल हाँ बिल्कुल यही बात जो है मैं समझाने की बहुत बार कोशिश करता हूँ ये बताने की कोशिश करता हूँ कि वो जो सामने वाला है वो भी तो आपको उसी तरीके से जज करेगा ना कि आप जो है अपने पेरेंट फील्ड के नहीं बनना चाहते हो बस आपने इंजीनियरिंग इसलिए करी कि कोई प्रेशर था या कुछ भी था ठीक है ना उसके बाद आप आ गए इस वाले जॉब में फिर आप बोलोगे कि यार मुझे ये चीज भी पसंद नहीं है मैं कुछ और करूंगा आई विल लाइक टू गो तो ऑब्वियसली वो क्वेश्चन तो दिमाग में आएगा ही वेरी 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 ट्रू वेरी ट्रू Anyways, Adit, it was really, really, really amazing talking to you, and that too after such Thank a long you, time. We have been connected for quite some time, but it was not possible to talk. So it was good that today we could get some time and talk. Uh, and uh, it was really, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it will be a very, very beneficial session for students, right? Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.